storing the energy because uh, electricity doesn't store well. So by using this magnetic shift or gear at a two to one ratio, 36 magnets here of, of opposite poles and 18 here of north, south, north, south, north, south, you can pedal noiselessly, by the way. The mechanics are gone. There's no mechanics. You see what I'm saying? And you can pedal as fast as you want, but it doubles the speed of your pedaling. The small wheel is going twice as fast as the big wheel, so it's like a shift in a mechanical thing, right? Okay, you got that? You got it going? Now, there's a real treat for YouTubers, because they always show you the black box, and I always try to make my, my devices transparent as much as possible, but I cover up the magnets. This is a three-phase 12-12-12. And you see them pedaling uh, the greens, discharging batteries on the West Coast, lighting up Christmas lights. They got one set of magnets. This has got three sets on one side, and then that other can, this is a Moroccan almond can, very nice can by the way. The other one is a Nielsen orange soda drink can. And three on the other side. So you've got six generators going. You see what I mean? So instead of twice the RPMs and the voltage, you've got 12 times voltage. Six and six. 12, uh, 24 times the voltage. Now, as far as output goes, one additional amplification, which puts it up with the 15, 20, 20 geared bicycles, the racing bicycles they use in the Tour de France, you put the three on this side in series, like we did over there to run that magnetic drive with the three on this side, and you double the voltage. You see? So you're getting 48 times the amount of volts. Because, you know, they're going to tell you, either you have to have very powerful magnets, and very heavy, expensive magnets, and a very big wheel to get some sort of voltage out of slow movements. You've seen it in, in, air, in water turbines. You've seen a bridge in 1903 or something in uh, the Mississippi River at St. Louis with gigantic turbines that move slowly, right, to generate uh, electricity for the city of St. Louis, right? And uh, then you saw the high dams with accelerators and venturi tubes and what they call long drops, you know, wellheads, they call it, uh, drops, uh, that gave uh, much more energy and made it, uh, the turbines turn much faster. So the, 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 the situation here is to continue until you build up the um, capacitor reservoir and you accelerate the vehicle, you see what I mean? Turning in a natural walking speed or a natural bicycle speed. And by the way, they've been doing reclining bicycles, mostly old men, but some young men too, for uh, 40, 50 years, uh, more, maybe more. I've, I've known two or three builders myself. And uh, the chair that you're in is very important. If you're going to be driving a car and you're on the side, you've got to be doing other controls with the halter. Your hips, when you walk or dance or run, move, right? This chair is, is forget it. It doesn't have enough of a recline. You have to build a chair that's almost a, ro a human robot. Like with carbon fibers, you, you can build the spine and put a groove in it so that your, your actual bones uh, stick and don't bump against uh, the spine instead of a cushion here in general, cushion for the whole back. And then you have to have some rubber, hard rubber that adjusts itself to hip movements. You see what I mean? That's similar to the uh, diaphragm area between the hip bone here and the uh, rib cage. You see? So, you know, it's, it, and make it light and make it out of plastic and rubber and, and carbon fibers. And when you get the proper movement, uh, you won't have back problems. The, the, the car, people in cars and sitting in front of television sets and whatnot, they end up in wheelchairs. You know, the thing is to do things in a, a functional, sporting 
way, and sports are pioneers in this re kind of research. And uh, the, the, then the motion, the effort becomes practical. Again, you're producing energy. You don't have a job. You didn't apply to a corporation, right? You didn't sell out and sign a thing to the military to be sent to the other side of the planet to go with your sniper rifle and shoot the heads off of 12 year olds who might like pick up a bicycle or something. Do you see what I mean? So, you know, you do good for the planet instead of ill. And by lightening the footprint and allowing people who are producing their own energy to go out further from the, ro the pleasant roads that are all along pipelines. That's what the, the fuelification, they talk about mechanization, right? The great mechanical revolution of the 18th and 19th century. Then they talk about the great electrification, which is like